Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to art class. Today we are working on a lesson inspired by the artist Robert Indiana. We are going to try to spread some positive vibes with our art. So at school today, we will be working on a background first using paint that looks like this in the warm colors and the cool colors. Now, if you are at home, you could use your watercolor paint if you have it. If you don't have watercolor paint or your parents don't want you to use watercolor paint, that's okay. You could do your background just using crayons. That's what I did in this example and it turned out great. So it's okay to use crayons and markers for this lesson. So the first thing we need to do is fold our piece of paper into four equal parts. So we are going to take the bottom of the paper and bring it up to the top and match up the corners as close as you can. If you don't get it perfect, that's okay. Put your finger in the center and give it a nice crease. If you flip your thumb over, you can give it a sharp crease using your thumbnail. Now let's open the paper back up and bring the left side over to the right side. Again, match up the corners, go to the center and rub your finger up and down to give your paper a crease. Now when you open it up, you should have one, two, three, four quadrants or quarters. So today we're using something white to draw with. It could be an oil pastel or a white crayon. I would like for you to try to trace the creases on your paper. So what I'm going to do is just go right over that line that I see from the fold that I made in the last step. So go ahead and trace those lines. Now you may be wondering why are you drawing on a white piece of paper with a white oil pastel? Well, what I'm going to do next is try to stay in each little section of my paper and draw something. It's going to show up later when I put the paint on it. That's the magical fun part. It's called a crayon resist. So I'm drawing different kinds of lines, different kinds of shapes. For this, it would be even be okay for you to scribble scrabble. You can draw whatever you want to on those four parts of your paper. When we put the paint on top, whatever you draw is going to appear magically if you're pressing down nice and heavy and getting a nice amount of oil pastel or crayon on your paper. It's going to be so fun. You just wait. Let's just do a quick review before we use the paint. We're using the warm colors first, red, orange, and yellow on the first space and the fourth space. That's where our first letter is going to go and our fourth letter is going to go. So today you can use the red, orange, and yellow however you would like in the first space and the fourth space. So we are going to remember to swirl our brush on the edges of the paint. Try to stop when you get to the folded line. You can mix the colors on your paper but not in the paint tray. Remember that other people are using this paint also, so we want to really work very hard to remember to rinse out our brushes between the colors. Oh, I can see my design starting to show up. Remember this part? Just wipe your brush on the side of the cup. You give it a little wipe. You don't tap it. Don't tap it because then it splashes everywhere. Just wipe it on the side of the cup. So enjoy painting with the warm colors in the first and fourth space. <laughs> So, after you finish the warm colors, go ahead and take your cool colors, the blue, the green, and the purple, and use those colors to paint the second space and the third space in any way that you would like using the cool colors.
So we are coming to the end of today's lesson. I hope you have really enjoyed using the crayon resist technique. Next art class, we will use four letters to create a positive word on top of this painting. Have an amazing day.